Hello, I am Dr. Nagaraj Puttaswamy, laparoscopic surgeon at Punya Hospitals, Bangalore. We see very rarely peptic ulcer and peptic ulcer related disease nowadays. After the invention of uh, proton pump inhibitors, uh, which are very good uh, you know, drugs uh, which can heal you know, duodenal ulcer and gastric ulcers. But uh, a peptic ulcer can lead on to a complicated scenario where what we come across as a commonly seen um, duodenal ulcer perforation or a gastric ulcer perforation. This is a surgical emergency where the patient comes with severe pain abdomen because of peritonitis. Initially it is a chemical peritonitis, later on it sets into a bacterial peritonitis. So we need to intervene surgically and operate and correct it. The surgical correction is just to close the perforation as early as possible. Say so how we close, whether we do an open surgery or a laparoscopic surgery. See with my experience, I have done a significant number of peptic ulcer closures, particularly duodenum and the gastric ulcer closures laparoscopically, which is otherwise very safe and comfortable. So laparoscopic peptic ulcer closure, so provided the patient general condition is relatively better. So very, very sick patient, even a conventional procedure becomes equally tough and difficult to perform. The so laparoscopic surgery always uh, is uh, advantageous uh, to do a simple closure of uh, peptic ulcer uh, perforation. So during this process, uh, what we do is uh, introduce the telescope, try and do a peritoneal lavage, that is cleansing of the whole peritoneal cavity using uh, medicated uh, saline and also antibiotic and uh, antiseptic uh, solutions and identify the perforated area, suture that and then reinforce with the help of a mental patch. This is how we do conventionally. Similarly, the same technique is carried on to laparoscopic techniques and a perfect closure can be achieved.